So welcome back. We're on part two of this computer and in the last video, part one, I picked this computer up on the Facebook marketplace for $60. And in part one, we learned that it's a core two quad, not a duo, the quad. Of course, the DDR2 memory and yeah, it didn't turn on. Going through the diagnosis of it, bad power supply, figured. But we were able to get it fired up and now we can tinker with it. So even though this looks old, well, it don't look old, it is old, and it's not much of a computer, I picked it up primarily because of the case, this classic Lee and Lee case. I love these cases. Well built, great design, all aluminum, and I have some other projects in stored. So number one, I need an extra case, and number two, I kind of needed a computer to uh, sacrifice, and we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. So moving forward, in this video, I don't want to give up on this computer yet, just want to kind of tinker with it, even though it's doesn't have too much value but for some of you this might be a walk down memory lane and for others of you this might be a history lesson so a few things we need to get going first number one need a power supply so we got one i got a bunch of power supplies lying around i am not going to mess around with this mechanical drive because they're so slow and annoying i got 120 gig sata this should be more than enough it's got four gigs of memory i got these nvidia slis this is so cool Really cool memory. I keep it around, works good. These are two gig sticks. So we'll have six gigs of memory for all the performance that, yeah. But moving on. And I forgot to mention in the last video, the graphics card, the uh, fan is kind of jacked up, doesn't work. Well, it's not kind of, it doesn't work. So going through my boxes of junk, I found this one. Yeah. Ice Q4 HIS blower style actually pretty cool looking and i forget what model this is uh yeah i do know it has 512 megs of video memory and that's about it and if i'm being honest with you i don't even know if this works but we'll find out and lastly this thermal take cooler that has been haunting me for like forever i've bought this thing for a couple of projects and i've yet to find a project that this fits on maybe it will fit on this computer maybe Probably not, but I'd rather use this because it's a little smaller than that old Scythe one, even though that Scythe one is pretty nice. I'm hoping to get away with using this. So let's put this thing together, fire it up, and let's go down memory lane. So to get started, let's get this power supply in. Get out this piece of junk. Well, maybe the whole thing is junk. And as you can see, it doesn't like to spin. It's like ready to pop out. So, this EG4 7300GS256 megs DDR, of course. So, hopefully, this will fit. Uh, don't matter the orientation I'm already starting to have my doubts but you know let's kind of this might work I've had that cooler for several years and I just can never get it to work with any of my projects so I just want one project can I just get one project where it works all right here goes nothing All right, finally works. Just had to find a 14-year-old computer, you know? Now let's take out two sticks. Yes, I know we're gonna have mismatch memory, but on this older hardware, it really don't matter anymore. Let's get this out primarily because, well, I don't need that drive. I think it's like only 320 gigs. Well, 
Well, forgot to hit the record button again, but it works. So I turned it on the first time and yeah, no post, no nothing. Issue is I guess that memory I put in, swapped in the original memory. I guess this thing don't like mismatch memory and now it's working. So let's install Windows XP. Original. say the whole splash screen pretty nice they don't make them like that no more now let's see if this thing boots off the CD we can install Windows XP that would make life so much easier and the good thing about this semi not modern maybe modern platform is that it has USB so even though I install Windows XP we can't connect it to the interweb because you know I don't want to get hacked a thousand times and just end up buying 20 houses in the Cayman Islands I could use a USB floppy, uh, I could use a USB thumb drive, get the drivers from my main rig, pop it over here, which will save a lot of time and headache. So that's kind of good. Well, maybe that drive is bad. Let's try another one. All right, so something's going on with that Windows XP disk. I can't find my own copy of it. I'll just have to download it and get it set up. I don't feel like messing with that now. So I'm going to go with my tried and true favorite, Windows 2000. I used that for forever. I used that for a long time before finally switching to XP and... It's very stable, worked good for me. So let's get this installed and then we'll tinker around. All right, so she's up and running, everything's good. And I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. So now, yeah, I gotta install drivers for the HD 4870 by HIS. I gotta install that. I also have another graphics card that I might tinker around with. But for the most part, I'm done with what I need to do for it for this video. Now, if you're curious on how well it performs, I mean, as far as it being this old, I got a couple of videos with um, Core 2 Duos, Pentium 4s, I think I got a Pentium 3, and some Z old, Xeon, uh, old Xeon videos of this time period, and you could check those out and kind of get an idea of how well these uh, perform and don't perform. But, I mean, let's be realistic for a, what is it, 14, 16-year-old computer? can't expect much and yes can you put windows 7 in it even 10 and 11 yeah you can but just expect for this thing just not to pretty much do anything so the biggest limitation that you're going to run into it with uh, newer windows number one well it's old number two the ddr2 memory man it just it doesn't hold up it doesn't hold up and now if we're looking forward even ddr3 is starting to show its age so things to consider but as far as my plans, like I said, I wanted this case. I got a couple of projects that I wanted uh, that I want to do, and this computer checks the boxes. And checking the boxes is a good thing. So this case will help with that, and also this mini platform needs something a little sacrificial. So if you want to see what's going on in future plans with this, definitely hit the notification bell and make sure you subscribe. And uh, that way you'll keep up to date on a few things that I got in the works. So for sixty dollars, I mean. It's what you expect and as far as the value and anything like that the case is the biggest value i've seen these um show up on ebay and just sell really quick and i've seen them go like i said in the first video from anywhere from 100 to 200 dollars that alone would help me to recoup and a couple of forums that i'm part of there are people who are trying to hunt down these cases and they're willing to pay about 100 to 200 dollars for it but that's not the plan I have for it. So comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, concerns, criticisms, suggestions, improvements, things you think I should have done. And if you would have spent the $60 on this. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not. And as always, we'll see what we come up with next.